folks, let me show you how to tie the best knot that I know how to tie. It's the strong, especially on fluorocarbon. All you do is double the line through the eye, like this. And I'm right-handed, so I'm going to tie it to the camera right-handed, okay? I'm going to do a loop on my finger, like this. I'm going to run three times, take the loop, bring it back through that loop, pull it up real nice, and I'm going to bring it down to my fingers, tighten it, and you'll feel the knot pop. When, I'm, when I make my cut, I'll have three tied in. That is the strongest knot, and it's the one that most of us guys tie. And that's what it looks like. Three tag ends, very easy to tie. Gary Klein here, and that was another tip on Midwest Outdoors. When you're going on on that next fishing trip and you're just and you you're not quite sure what that bite's going to be like or if you're hopping in in somebody else's boat and you don't want to bring all your tackle with you, grab a lure lock case that doesn't have any compartments in it. Now you may be wondering how in the heck are you going to keep your tackle organized? But with the Tack Logic technology gel in the bottom of these cases, you simply just pick out a couple of the baits that you're going to be using that day, stick them in there on the gel. So I picked out a couple crankbaits that I'm going to be using today, put them in there, lock it up, and you're good. Those baits aren't going to jiggle around. So what you can do here is you can make a box specific for that day on the lake, or if you are you know, using a specific technique, like say topwater plugs, and you just aren't sure if they're going to be on poppers, ploppers, or, or walk the dog style baits, grab a few of each, put them in an open container case from Lure Lock, and you'll be good to go. This is Glenn Walker with Midwest Outdoors, tip of the week.